Happy Monday, guys, and welcome to today's Drawing Time Lapse and Studio Sessions episode 32. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video today. I've been using Squarespace for the past few years to host and run my website, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So whether you need a domain, website, online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash happydartist to get 10% off your first purchase. And also I wanted to quickly announce that I'm having a Valentine's Day sale. So for a limited time, you can get 20% off of your order with the code VALENTINE at happyd-artist.com. And the sale ends February 7th. So for today's piece, it's going to be a little bit different. I don't really have one specific topic in mind for discussing, but rather I just kind of wanted to record a very candid conversation and maybe include a little bit of tips and tutorials. So yeah, it's going to be a really more, I guess, natural and less planned video, but I hope you guys like it. I know some of you have commented before that you really enjoy the videos that seem very in the moment and very natural so this piece is quite special to me and I wanted to give it some extra attention by sharing some of the background story with you guys um, I ever since the new year began I don't know maybe it's like every time there's a new year I just see it as an opportunity to reset or renew a lot of aspects of my life. I think a lot of you guys listening might also feel the same way. It's just the energy of a new year is very infectious. And I was thinking about this year, what I want to do with my art. Um, it's not that I don't like my current style or that I'm bored of it. You know, I always preach that if you want to change and involve your style, you should do it very subtly and, you know, tweak little things instead of forcing yourself to dramatically change, you know, what it is that makes you special so so quickly um, but at the same time I think it is important to constantly be evolving and improving and just challenging yourself as an artist so I was looking back on my body of work last year and although I really do um, appreciate and and love my my old style so to speak this year I really wanted to try to push myself a little bit harder I wanted to paint something out of the norm, something that I'm maybe a little bit uncomfortable with or something I've never experimented with before while still staying within a subject matter that I still find personally relatable and staying with, um, I guess, an aesthetic and a, a signature way of painting, I guess, um, that is still recognizable as my style. So I was thinking about the different types of subject matter that I could paint and I was actually at a gas station rest stop um, on a road trip with my fiance and I saw a bunch of candies being sold and one of them was a peppermint and I just all of a sudden had this idea that came into my head of I wanted to paint like a young kid eating candy except instead of eating like a regular sized candy she would be eating a giant like almost human sized peppermint for some weird reason that came into my mind um, a lot of you who saw this photo on Instagram a few days ago have mentioned that it reminds you of Adventure Time and Peppermint Butler um, so I do love Adventure Time I'm a huge fan and I definitely um, realized halfway through I'm like oh my god she or the peppermint looks like peppermint butler but no it's not supposed to be like a fan art of Adventure Time even though I do love Adventure Time and for those of you who haven't seen it yet I highly recommend um, but yeah when I had this idea I hesitated for a second I'm like do I actually want to try to draw or paint this it seems super different I rarely paint people with clothing on I've rarely painted a child I know that um most of my women that I paint it's really hard to tell what age they are because I exaggerate their features so much that they don't really even seem like a normal human being so it's hard to pinpoint exactly what age group um, but I've never painted something that I guess deliberately was trying to portray a child or a young um, like adolescent and also, I've never painted candy, I don't think. So I really, really got excited about this idea. And I thought, since this is, since it's the new year, why not? And it led to this marker and colored pencil illustration first. Um, I think 
Also, last year, I became so enamored with oils that for the second half of the year, at least, I really didn't pay much attention to working on my marker skills. And I know that sometimes I do use markers as a way to kind of lay down a foundation for some of my illustrations, but markers are not like the starring role. They're not the the highlight of each drawing. They're kind of almost like a like a supplement or an aid to my pencil work. And for this piece, I really wanted to push myself more with markers, like use more than just one color and try to establish some of the values and different um, shading with markers before I went in with colored pencil. And yeah, at first I was actually really nervous. I'm like, okay, I don't really know if I'm gonna mess up this drawing, especially when you're kind of halfway through and the drawing is looking almost complete. Um, I felt really tempted to fall back into my safety zone and just go with the colored pencil. But I pushed myself to use some more colors. Um, I think, yeah, in the past year, I have never used this many colors on a single um, drawing before. This many marker colors, I mean. So this piece, it really pushed me. I know it may, may not seem like such a big deal, especially for those of you out there who are very well versed with markers, and I definitely applaud you. Um, but for me, it was definitely very different, and this drawing took me way longer than drawings usually take me, but I'm really happy that I pushed myself to do this because it really rekindled my love for markers. Um, I, think, I think of markers as almost like a faster and more predictable watercolor because um, this year I definitely do also want to try out watercolors and just mediums that are outside of oils, and markers I feel like give me the satisfaction of watercolors which is being able to flesh out an idea more quickly than you know with oils but also um, having the richness of the colors and being able to I guess if I'm planning out a potential oil painting um, being able to really flesh out that idea instead of just using like a pencil thumbnail where I can only map out the rough composition um, using markers and colored pencils and hopefully eventually watercolors will help me determine more meticulous details about what the painting could look like, you know, including color, value, things like that. So yeah, this drawing I think is a great way to start off the new year and I really hope to make this into a painting and maybe even a series, but um, I'm pretty excited for what the year has to offer. I, I think I mentioned in my previous New Year's resolution video that this year I don't want to focus so much on working my ass off to try to, you know, one up myself or try to constantly be growing and pushing. I really want to take time to enjoy life and work on my physical and mental well being. So, um, part of that is I just really want to also like indulge myself in the joy of creating art. So instead of just looking at art, I mean, sorry, it's not, it's not that I previously only looked at art as a business, but instead of focusing so much on the business aspect of it and like trying to, you know, maintain momentum or make money um, or constantly be growing on social media, I really want to put the majority, the primary focus on the love I have for art and just kind of fall back in love with the process of creating and and expressing myself through art. I think it was really hard for me last year, especially towards the end, to balance being so busy and also still take the time to remind myself of, you know, the just the simple pleasure of of creating or, you know, making art. So this year that is gonna be my main focus and it's gonna come with a lot of new ideas and hopefully pieces that you guys really enjoy. So Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble and for watching this video and for subscribing. And before I leave, I wanted to proudly show off these beautiful entries for my $1 coloring challenge last month. I'm so blown away. If you'd like to join this month, pledge at least $1 at patreon.com slash happy And I'll catch you next time. Bye.